Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be swatching the new Purple Haze palette by Huda Beauty. It's just this really beautiful, like, purple toned palette. I finally got it after having some mishaps with Sephora, which I will touch on right away. But if you want to see swatches of this palette and my thoughts on it, just keep watching. <laughs> seen swatch of this palette let's talk about it first off this palette retails for i believe around 29 us dollars in canadian that's about 37 dollars um you can buy it on sephora i personally bought it off of sephora canada but you can get the palettes on huda beauty's website the swatches are honestly really pretty huda's formula can be hit or miss um personally the only palette that i've ever had an issue with was the mint one like the one that had like the minty blues and stuff that palette was horrible i did not like that palette at all but all the other ones i've tried i've liked even the sand palette that i accidentally got i swatched it and it swatched decently well and this palette is no different it swatched very well honest obviously like the reason i got the colors were for the purples which you know looking at the overall palette you can say well there's actually not that many purples in it which you know fair there's about, like, I'd say three and a half, because the shade that doesn't look purple, that just kind of looks like a taupe. It is actually, like, a, I'd say, like, a lilac -y purple. Just barely. Like, it's a pinky. It's, like, just barely. That's why I said there's, like, three and a half, but you know what I mean. I also did like the idea of the purples with the, like, red shades, but, like, the neutral shades are just a no for me. <laughs> like, they're pretty. Like, don't get me wrong. They're pretty. They're just not for me. That being said, I think this palette is gorgeous. It actually swatched really well. The mattes, like, no issue swatching them whatsoever. They swatched great. This definitely comes off more like... It doesn't, like, have a pinky tone to it, but it does. It has a pinky purple hue to it, which I think will go very well with the purples. That being said, the purples themselves are stunning. And I'm typically not one to like the blackened base purples with the glitter, but this one is just so stunning. Like, I can imagine using the dark purple and that purple together would be so good. And this, like, this purple as a base with that one on top, I can just imagine that would be so, so pretty. Which is kind of, like, my vibes for this palette like i love these especially for fall like for me this is like what i would envision like a sort of purple fall palette would be it's really pretty so this is what the swatches look like with flash honestly they're just so pretty that purple is probably my favorite it's just so so stunning and i think that like all the tones kind of go together well in this palette i mean this warm brown i don't think it was really like I guess it was needed because there is, like, a warm tone, like, glittery, like, bronzy shade, but basically those tones are just not for me, but the reds and the purples are really, really pretty. As always, swatches cannot dictate how these will work on the eyes, but just from swatching and just from use using Huda's formula before, I'm definitely intrigued. The purple with a blackened base is definitely more of like a sheer shade. Like I personally would probably use the other purple as a base and then add that one on top just because it is very sheer and it's more so like a um like a glittery topper. 
if y'all want to see this. Like, it's pretty. Don't get me wrong. It's very pretty, but it is definitely more, like, glittery and almost crumbly, whereas the other purple is definitely, I don't know. It's just a different sort of texture, which is just fine. And the matte purple actually performed really well in the swatch. Usually they're very streaky, but this one wasn't. I've heard mixed reviews on how it actually performs, so I will definitely let you guys know. If you want to be updated on how this palette does work on the eyes, make sure you subscribe and go check the community tab because that is where I post the update as well as in the comments below. I'll pin my comment when I have tried it out. But just from swatching it, I'm really excited. I can definitely tell you the first look I do with this palette will be purple. It's just, oh, it's just perfect for fall. Like, I can do such, like, a beautiful, like, sultry purple look. And then with, like, the lip, I'm going to probably do either a gray lip or, like, a deep purple lip. Oh, that would be so, so pretty. As you guys can see, like, I'm really excited by this palette. So I'm going to be adding uh, closer to the end of my thoughts uh, kind of the whole mishap I had with Sephora Canada and all that. So if you want to hear some tea and annoyance from me, just keep watching. Basically what happened is I ordered this palette on the launch day. As soon as it was up on Sephora Canada, I ordered it. I believe that was the 15th of September, I think. And so I ordered it. I was like, yes, you will be mine. Didn't think anything of it. I got it in the mail and they sent me Sand Haze, which is not the palette I ordered. Contacted them and after back and forth for a while, they were like, okay, um, you can do what you want with the other palette. We'll send you the proper palette, a replacement. And I was like, okay, fine. Let me just point out that I'm a VIB Rouge, so you expect decent service for the amount of money you spend there. And they were very much, I don't know, like, they didn't send it with express shipping or anything, so I had to wait another week for the palette, which is annoying as someone who wants to get it so I can film swatches and get it out for you guys. It was very frustrating to have them basically be like, too bad, we'll send you a replacement, but it's going to take like a week, which whatever, COVID and stuff, it, it makes sense, right? But, um, so then I wait a week, and I get it, like, a day before it was supposed to arrive, which was today, which it's like, okay, great, that happened, and I opened it, and lo and behold, they sent the same wrong palette again. If you guys didn't know, so, in the Haze collection, there are three. There's Khaki Haze, Sand Haze, and Purple Haze. I wanted Purple Haze. The others were way too, like, in my opinion, like, boring. Which for me is anything without color, right? Like, I'm someone who just, I just don't like natural palettes. That's just me. I like brights and I like fun and purple. Like, I can go for a neutral palette if it's like super purple. Like this. Like, this is kind of like, you know, like natural, but purple. You know, like, I can dig that. But the other ones were like, and I was like, you know what? If it was khaki hates, I wouldn't mind. Cause you know, that one at least had some like, had like one olive tone. It was fine. So, I was like, no, they sent me Sand Haze again, the wrong palette again. So, I was like, I was fed up, so I just phoned them, which is so much faster to talk to customer service by phoning them. I did that, and the guy was really nice. Usually, their representatives are really nice. Sometimes, they're hard to hear, um, not only because of, like, language barriers, but also... For some reason, they just have really bad, like, phones. It's always really quiet. So I had him on speaker, and I told him what was up, and he checked into it, and he said, well, from what I can see, that the item number online does not add up to the right palette. And I was like, okay, that makes sense as to why I got sent the wrong one twice, but that doesn't really matter, you know? Like, to me, I spent my money for the palette I wanted, so just... Like, I can return this palette and just refund me for the proper palette and I will go in store and pick up the right palette. So he was like, well, you can, what you can do is you can take the palette that you, the wrong palette you got in store, take it with your order, like, paper, and they'll just exchange it for you. And I was like, okay, sure, whatever. Like, fine, yeah, I'll do that. So, uh, you know, I went and I returned it and I obviously got the right palette in the end. But, like... My thing is, is that I order online so I don't have to go in, right? 
Like, so it's not like it's a big deal, right? Like, it was very frustrating in the moment, and it did put me in more pain. Um, but, like, it wasn't that. Like, it wasn't horrible or anything. It was just, like, I don't know. It was just kind of, like, frustrating. So, I don't know. Makes me not want to order online, but at the same time, I don't want to have to go downtown, try and find parking when I don't even drive. So, yeah. Uh, so that was me trying to get this palette. It took a while, but I got it. Do I think this palette was worth all the hassle I went through to get get it? Yeah, like, it's beautiful. Obviously, I can't attest to how these will work on the eyes, but I'm so excited to try them out. I do want to, like, do, like, a kind of, like, an overall review video of some of the recent palettes I've gotten, just because I do get so many. So if you guys would like that, let me know, because I would like to start doing that. I'd like to start doing more, like, variety type of videos it's just that these ones are the easiest to do with all of my issues <laughs> also i forgot to mention it comes with a mirror i mean you guys can see it comes with a mirror but it comes with a good mirror and yeah so let me know down below what shade is your favorite are you into purples do you not like purple eyeshadow do you prefer naturals over brights just let me know really because i'm very curious because i know a lot of people do prefer natural makeup over you know brights but i'm just someone who loves bright colors and especially purples even if they are more like deeper tones. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe, comment down below any videos you'd like to see me do. Go follow my Instagram, Makeup by Tasha XO, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.